Yo, hello YouTube. We are right in the middle. Well, not in the middle. We are right in the 24 hour stream, five hours in. And there's an Ultimate Cup happening literally Saturday. Literally tomorrow, if you're watching this on YouTube. And I guess two days from now, if you're watching this on stream live right now. It's a BT10 exclusive tournament with a ban list in effect. No EX3 cards. That means the anticipated of decks are Melga, Security Control, Jessmon, Blue Flare, and um, I'm sure there's another one that I'm forgetting. But that you get the gist. You get the gist. Melga and Sakon are going to be huge. Jessmon, Blue Flare will be there. Uh, and Armor Rush will be there too. Bale Star, even better. Anyway, so if I was playing in this Ultimate Cup, in this BT10 exclusive Ultimate Cup, if I wasn't playing Ancient Greymon, because that's a very, very good take in my opinion for that tournament, I would be taking War Greymon Tribal. That's right, I'm not even joking. This deck has the tools to beat Melga, Sekkon, Jessmon, and blue flare it can just take those decks out um and i'm going to show you the deck profile that's doing it i think this deck is tier one in the scope of the bt10 exclusive tournament that we're going into tomorrow uh and i'm going to go with the deck profile if you want to try something fun for this tournament this ultimate cup play this deck you might have a fun time it's very easy it's not hard at all it's a very easy deck to play it's not hard. And I'll show you guys the main combo as well. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell and the smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos go live. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube when it comes out, I am still on Twitch. I am still doing my 24-hour stream. You should come say hello. We're building a bunch of EX3 decks and playing with the viewers. So, a lot of fun ahead. So, enjoy that. And let's go ahead and start the deck profile here. Um, our eggs... Our, our eggs are very, very specific. We're playing four Koromon in the glare. We're playing four Koromon because the 1,000 DP actually matters. It actually matters. Like, it really, really matters sometimes. Um, that's all I got to say on that. So we're playing um, our four copies of Koromon for that. And that's the only thing we want. We don't want Koromon anymore because the 1,000 could matter a lot. So, for Koromon, it is. Uh, moving right along to the rookies. We are playing four copies of everyone's favorite Agumon. The one that gives you plus 2,000 DP if you are a Greymon. So, that's pretty cool. It's a little off screen. We're playing four copies of the BT5 Agumon. On play, reveal top three out of Greymon and an Omnimon card. We are playing a couple, a few Omnimon cards in this deck. So that's really good. And we're playing four copies of Omni uh, Agumon X Antibody. You evolve on Agumon for free or on play. Uh, real top three cards. You add a Greymon or an Omnimon. And you add an X Antibody option. Which is cool. And you can actually plus one off this card in this deck. So that's really cool. We're playing 12 rookies because there's not a single other rookie that you, you want, to be honest. This, this is the way forward. This this is the way. So, that's it. We play 12 rookies. On to champions next. We're playing four copies of Security Plus One Greymon. This is very important. The Security Plus One Greymon really matters. It really matters. Because you want to be able to do as much damage as humanly possible. And this Greymon helps you get there. With the security plus one, it's absolutely integral. In my opinion, that's the one that you usually want to see in your stack in the back. Um, then we're playing four copies of Greymon X Antibody. Vols for zero on your Greymon. And it gives you protection to deletion and bouncing by trashing two cards of the same sources. So it that this effect alone makes it a really easy time for like against Melga. Because they try to bounce you, like, what, the, what, the, what are they going to do? They're not going to bounce you. If you have this, a good stack like this, they're just not. Uh, any kind of removal, you know, like Gaia Force or whatever, uh, doesn't work. Uh, they have to, like, de it or Chaos Degrade it or something. Or, like, Strip Source it. Blue Flare could be annoying, but 
against Blue Flare one shot in them anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, and then to finish up our champion line, two copies of the BT5 Greymon. This is very much on purpose. The plus 2000 Inheritable is cool, and the one memory evolve on an Agumon uh, is cool. It is very cool. Uh, it, it won't work if you have only Agumon X. Like, if there's no other cards in the stack and you evolve Greymon on Agumon X, it does cost the full two, but otherwise it does cost one. Um, so two copies of this. It is the worst Greymon card, in my opinion, for what this deck is trying to do. Uh, ten, cha ten champions will move on to ultimates. The best ultimate in the deck, hands down, is four copies of Metal Greymon X Antibody. Metal Greymon X Antibody is a powerhouse of a card. Just by evolving it for three, or by the way, on zero for Metal Greymon, you get its security attack plus one for free it, it just it does that by itself and the other effect is really cool too if you have a metal Greymon under in the sources or the x antibody option you get plus 3000 dp this matters this 3000 dp matters and i'll explain why when we get to the end of the profile it matters though so we are playing four copies of it we're playing two copies of metal Greymon alterus mode the promo it's always treated as Metal Greymon. You can evolve it on another Metal Grey for zero. Uh, if you have a Tamer in play when Digivolve and delete something 5,000 or less, that's cool. It comes up sometimes. Uh, it also has the Greymon X Antibody Inheritable Protection ability. It's nice to have it if you need it. It's cool. And the Metal Greymon of choice. The last Metal Greymon, I've never played this card until this special format. But I think this card is the way. It's two copies of EX1 Metal Greymon. The one attacking is cool. Pop something 4,000 DP or less. Great. Okay. It's the inheritable that matters. It gives you piercing. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard my methodology behind War Greymon. But the deck, if you play it like an ancient Greymon deck, you can never go wrong. Um, and piercing is your basically your flame mon. You know what I mean? The one that gives you piercing. Piercing is really cool because it lets you attack over annoying big bodies if you need to and do damage. The whole point of deck is being able to do damage. It's very important. Damage is good. Now, if you have an issue with cards like um, Magna X Antibody, then you want to consider, instead of playing this Metal Greymon, you want to play the red-black one, the one that DJ evolves, because that takes care of the Magna X for you. If Magna X is a big problem, if you do not want to deal with Magna X, play that, black War Grey, play that Metal Greymon instead. But if you think your matchup in the Magna X is fine, if you know what you're doing against that matchup, this Metal Grey mod will give you lots of free value, and piercing is really important. Um, that's it. That's it. Piercing might help you. It really might. Also, a really big win, a really big win with this card, is that it costs 3 to evolve. Unlike the BT-8 Metal Grey mod, that costs 4. That's one of the reasons I'm playing it. But again, you could interchange them. If you wanted this to be two copies... Of the Metal Greymon, the Metal Greymon, and for reference, so you guys know what I'm talking about, it's this Metal Greymon. If you wanted to do two of this Metal Greymon instead of the EX Metal Greymon, I think that's fine. Either is fine. I want the piercing personally and the three cost evolve. But if you really hate Magna X and other annoying things, um, you then you do play this Metal Greymon. That's my opinion on it. Both options are fine in my opinion. Do whatever ultimately makes you happy. Whatever you think gives you the best matchups. That's it for the ultimates. For the Megas, we're playing three copies of BT1 War Greymon. Your answer to security control, which will be everywhere this Ultimate Cup. Mark my words. Melga is like the best deck of the format, and security control likes to farm Melga. War Greymon against security control says no. Your security options don't activate. And also, when Dead Revolving gives you security plus one, which matters a lot. Um, so, we play three copies of this. We play two copies of the War Greymon X Antibody. I do think it's the worst War Grey X naturally, but if you're not afraid of options, it's the best War Greymon. It is. It evolves from one on War Greymon, which is cool. And all turns, when a card is removed from security stack, you gain a memory. So, if you attack and deal three damage and this survives, you gain three memory, which is nice. And then end of attack once per turn, 
If you have a War Greymon or Exanty Body in this in the stack, delete your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP. Now you guys are understanding why things like Coromon here matter, right? Your War Greymon X antibody is capable of popping some really big bodies. Which is neat, in my opinion. So, the way you pick your Megas here, if you are playing in Security Control or Beelstar, or you want to just win the game, you evolve in this War Greymon. If you think War Greymon X is better for your situation, you evolve in the War Greymon X. It is there for the non-security control-like things. And if you don't, if you don't care about option security, that's what it's here for. Uh, like for example, if you're playing against Imperial, like Blue Green Imperial or something, you know that the only option that can actually like harm you is probably Mega Death. You don't have to worry about Mega Death if you have uh, Metal Greymon Alteris or uh, Greymon X anti this stack, right? So it might be beneficial to go into War Greymon X as opposed to this one. Um, you. Don't get the security plus one though with this War Greymon. You have to evolve into this War Greymon first and then evolve into this one to get to keep the security plus one. Uh, that's it for the Megas level sixes. For level seven Megas, we're playing two copies of Blitz Omni. Can I get some Blitzes in the chat? Blitzes in the chat for my Blitz Omni. We're playing two copies because after you clean sweep your opponent with the War Greymon stack, you will win the game with Omnimon. We don't play any hybrids. So we do have to play two copies of Omnion, minimum. Minimum, you have to play two copies. And to top it off, we play one copy of Omnimon X Antibody, the new one. This seems like a strange choice. Um, here's the thing with Omnimon X Antibody here. It can... Something... You might have an interaction where you have a BT1 War Greymon. You deal four damage. Okay? They have one security left. All right. Um, let's say that you have... By the way, we play X Antibody. Let's say that after you deal your four damage, you have Blitz Omni and you have Omnimon X Antibody in hand. What happens is you evolve the, your War Grain to Blitz Omni. You declare attack. You activate X Antibody. You evolve the Omnimon X. Omnimon X will trigger, looking at the security, trashing the last card, making it a direct attack for game. Yes... That's how that card works, and yes, that's why we're playing one copy of it. Because it's really easy to do four damage in this deck, and sometimes this does clean up. Sometimes it does. It is also just there to pick away at security sometimes. If you can't finish a game for some reason, on Monax Antibody can help you. It can help you. And it's cheaper on a lot, like a, if you have X Antibody option in the sources, and, and it's a really good card. And when you do Digivolve, you basically bottom deck the highest card. Omnimon X, as a one-of, is a really cool utility option in the deck. I do recommend giving it a try. That's it for Digimon. Um, we'll move on to Tamers next. For Tamers, we're playing four copies of The Boy That Is Cool. Cool Boy. Cool Boy is absolutely mandatory in this deck now because of the way we're trying to play the deck. Because you need your Metal Greymon X antibody. It is absolutely imperative that you have Metal Greymon X antibody. And it's also super important to have Greymon X antibody if you're playing against decks that can, like, get rid of your stuff by effect. The Cool Boys help you dig for those pieces. It also deck thins you when you evolve and gives you memory when you evolve. So if you don't have a memory tamer on the field, which you won't always have, Cool Boy can keep you in the game, which is really neat. As long as you have two Cool Boys on the field, you can do whatever you want, which is really good. Because we are playing one memory tamer and we are playing Tai Kamiya. Hero doesn't matter so much because... Unlike Ancient Greymon, where Hero was necessary because there wasn't much DP boosting, the deck has so much DP boost in it that Tai Kamiya is good. And Tai Kamiya can get you that extra security check. So we play the one copy of it, add some Memory Tamer, you love to see it. That's it. On to the options. So there are seven cards left in our deck. We are playing four copy of Gaia Force. This might seem overkill. This might. But this pops big towers, which you will see... In this Ultimate Cup, you will see a Blocker Metal Gar X. You will see that. You will see Death X1. You will see other annoying big towers, big Jessmon towers. You might see Imperials. You might see big annoying things. You might have a Melga turn where they're attacking you nonstop, and you might want to hit a Guy Force and Security to stop them because a Crimson Blaze might be too weak at that point in time. 
the four guy of force i think is super important specifically for this tournament because it's not ex3 yet you can get away with playing four guy of force to pop anything you want speaking of crimson blaze though we are playing two copies of it because it does auto win matchups for you like minerva loop and jasmine um and other decks that play cards by effects you just resolve a crimson blaze and then there, there's nothing you can do um if you see crimson blaze you always beat jasmine in my opinion based on factual playtesting evidence and the other decks that it does good work against as well crimson blaze is really good because of the floodgate effect and it has the potential bonus of popping digimon 6000 dp or less which is good and we do play the one copy of the x antibody uh and we just do that for the attack tricks which can happen sometimes I want to show you guys the com like the ideal combo. So the ideal combo, you have this. You have at minimum Agumon, at minimum Greymon. You have one of your metal Greymons. Doesn't really matter which one at that point in time. You have this. Uh, you have maybe Blitz Omni in hand. You have Metal Greymon X in hand. Maybe you have this on field. Maybe you have this on field. Um, whatever. Let's say that this is your stack in the back. Okay? You promote on your turn. You're at three. You evolve for free if you have nothing else going on. Now you have security plus one and 3,000 DP. Plus 2,000 plus 1,000. When you evolve into War Gray for that, you basically become a 17,000 War Gray Mon X. That beats everything in your security, including, including this fucker, who's 16k. That matters, because if you're seeing a lot of Melga, you will see random Omnimon X antibodies, and you might be unfortunate enough to see it in security. So having a 17k stick with security plus one, plus two, plus three is sorry, one security by game mechanic, one security for this, one security for this. One security for this, and one security for this. That is five checks. That is five checks. Um, if you have all this. If you don't have all this, it's fine. You're still doing four checks, which is really good. And TBH, you're, you might have hard, some play hard played in Agumon, or next antibody Agumon, and you might have just swung at security for chip damage. I recommend getting one chip in one chip damage in at some point in the game uh that's the main combo anyway metal Greymon x is integral to the combo okay you need this card that's why you play four of it it's very important that's it for the deck profile guys that is war Greymon. if you guys want to like play a fun deck that has a really good chance of doing well at the ultimate cup on saturday go ahead and try this deck i don't think you'll be disappointed and the deck plays itself you don't have to think. You don't have to use your brain. Uh, it's really cool. Let me know you guys think in the comment section below. And have a nice day.